Hello, my name is Shei Fabi. I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Fabi Virtual Geospatial a lecture series. Today we are on lecture number 30, and today we are going to look at uh, coordinate transformation in GIS. Uh, most of the time, you, are, you have data in different coordinate systems, uh, one of the unique characteristics of uh, GIS data or geoinformation in, uh, data set is georeferencing properties. Is the specially referencing characteristics of the data set. So if you have data in different coordinate systems, you may need to move one from one coordinate system to the other because they will not overlay. And today we have different platform, different handheld and mobile devices that are using Google Earth uh, data set, they are using OpenStreet data set, S3 data set, which are all available in latitude and longitude, which is just geographic and WGS84. So if you have your data on different coordinate system, it can be national origin, it can be universal travel spectator, can you order projection systems? So if you have your data in this system, you may need to translate it or transform it into the coordinate system that can that are compatible with some of these devices that are using uh, OpenStreet and uh, Google Earth data set, which are in ge geographic geographic systems WGS84. So today we want to look at uh, different coordinate system, how we can transform from one coordinate system to another. We are going to use ArcGIS and we are going to interspace between ArcGIS and QGIS to show how we are transforming coordinate system from one platform to another works. Uh, in our previous lecture, we have shown you how you can get point data from the field through the Excel format and you can translate it to, uh, you can convert it to point data uh, using tab delimited or using CSV. You can check our previous uh, edition of lecture series to check that. Today, we want to look at uh, how you can get some point. These points were collected from the field on uh, the location of the location of uh, some dikes, and then the easting, which is the uh, the longitude, northing, which is the latitude for the beginning point, then the easting and the northing for the end point of that uh, data set. So if you have this data set, you can convert it to a point data. If you want to do coordinate transformation, you have the option of transforming this data set into, uh, which is in the UTM, into geographic. Or you can convert it to a point data before you transform it. So what we are going to do, the option we are going to use now is that we are going to, trans, uh, we are going to convert this data set into a point data and then we transform this point data from universal transverse mercator to geographic, which is the longitude and latitude, so that it can be compatible with OpenStreet's map, Google Earth um, uh, map. We can use it as the, the base or, or the background. So we first we go to file. Uh, from our previous lecture, I've explained add X. Y data. When you add X, Y data, you post this one, you say X feed is easting. X feed is easting because it's the one that is changing the east, uh, the uh, west east way. So the nothing is Y field because it's the one that is going up. So uh, we can uh, Coordinate system, the existing coordinate system of this is UTM. But let's assume we don't even know. We don't even know 
recording system that was used to collect this data set from the feed. Because this data set was collected by using a GPS, uh, the handed GPS, to look at the starting point of a particular feature and then the end point. And then it was used, it was converted into, uh, into Excel data sheet. And from an Excel data sheet, it was moved to, uh, it was, we imported it to ArcGIS. So this is the event. Now these are the location of the dikes. Location of the dike, the start point, starting point of the location of the dikes. For now, well, let's stop with the the start point of the dikes. So it comes in as that location finder event, but we need to also convert it to. Uh, we need to convert it to uh, the to shape file because it's currently it's an event. We need to convert it to. A shape file. So you right click on this point, you right click after you have selected, you right click and then you come to data and you say export data. I come over it again. You right click on the point, this is an event. We have two data, two, two data sets on this uh, table of content. One is the one that we loaded, which is a text file, a tab delimited file. The second one is the event that was plotted by converting the x by converting the data to x and y data set. So you click on that event, which is an event feature. You right click on your uh, on your mouse, and then you come to data and you export data. When you export data, you and say you want to export all the features into data. Then you can select. Uh, you can select the the folder you want to put it. So I'm going to select um, uh, E, and uh, under E, I'm going to select Joseph as the location. I will call it DAC 001. Uh, DAC 001, and then it will ask you whether do you want to add the exported data to the map layer. We say yes, because we want to have this data. Now we have three data sets. The first one is the text file that was imported from, or that was imported from uh, Excel. The second one is the event that was created. With the third one is the shape file, which you call it DIKE001. Now we want to transform this data because this data is in UTM. It's in UTM. So we want to transform it to latitude and longitude. Uh, we are going to look at the old data and the new data in the Google Ad environment when we get there. So we, we now have the data set. But if you want to do the transformation, you can go to uh, the tool, the Act tool. Act toolbox AI has a lot of... Uh, data set in, uh, in a lot of uh, uh, tools that you can use. But the shortcut to it is that you can type it into the search button. Instead of going to the Act tool and start searching for the right tool, it's actually in data management. Instead of going through that, you can actually search. There's a search tool here. When you click on search tool, you can type projection. When you type projection, it's going to give you different options in projection. And the first thing we are going to do is to first define this projection that we have here. We will define the projection first so that before you can do the, you can use this one, which is to override the coordinate system, or you can use this one, which is to define the the coordinate system that you have before. Both of them are true. So you first define the projection, and then you select Dyke 001, which was the uh, the which was the one that is the shape file. Out of all these, only one that is a shape file. So what is the input data set or feature class? You click you select Dyke 001. And then you define it as 
Uh, it may take some time depending on uh, your the RAM of your system. So coordinate system, we leave it as unknown. Now we now want to change it to uh, uh, want to change it to uh, uh, geographic now. So we have to project coverage. We have project transformation, but we are going to use project coverage. Project coverage. So once you click on project coverage, it's going to give you bring in, bring out the two. Okay, it has done the final projection. They are giving us the final projection. After it has done that, then you can now go to project tool. So you have the projection tool. Input data set, we pick the dice. Uh, input coordinate system, put, we leave it as unknown. Or we can put it because it was in UTM before UTM and uh, it was in uh, UTM WGS 84 before Northern Hemisphere is in UTM 31. So we select that. Then what is the the the, the what the output the output data set? You can give it a name. We go back to our data set choose there. We now put uh, new direct zero zero two and zero zero one. So we save it like that. Then what is the coordinate of the output? The output coordinate system. We are looking at geographic and uh, we are looking at world and WGS 84, which is the coordinate system of the features you have in the Google Ads, uh, OpenStreet, S3 data set, and so on and so forth. So when you are here, you can now you say if, you, if, they are, if it is in shape, if it is in line, if it's a line or polygon, then this one will be active. Preserve shape, which is optional. But in this case, we don't have so anything of sort so you click ok and when you click ok it's going to work in the background it's working in the background now background now and you can see it here it's working in the background and it takes some time before it comes that projection is complete so we now have dike 001 now we can now open it dike 001 uh in the in choose let's navigate to where the data set we just done now, we have just done now is, which is new dike 001 shape file. This is the new coordinate. We can change the color of the new dike 001, which is in geographic, while the other one is in uh, UTM. So this is the one, if you want to go to this one, that is the new dike, which is the red one is geographic which is longitude and latitude. The, uh, the green one now is uh, UTM. So let's navigate to the geographic, zoom to layer. It takes us to a different environment entirely. They are now in different coordinate system. They are now in different coordinate system. This is how you can change it. This one is now, this one is in geographic, while this one is in meters, which one is in meters. So we can now go to QGIS and we launch these two points on uh, on the Google Earth uh, data set so that we use that one as a background and we can check the difference in the two. You can plot this point on any of the any of the Google Earth now but this other one that is available in uh, the one that is in UTM can only be plotted or can only be viewed on the on the on the the data that is already projected 
on the, on the, uh, in the UTM. So we are just going to look at the data on the data that's already projected on the UTM, and then we we move on because uh, before we can load your data in the next lecture, we are going to see how you can load this data in the QGIS, uh, which we have done before. And when we look at the data that's available in the QGIS, we also show you different uh, different data set. This image that is in it's in already in UTM. This image has been uh, transformed to UTM. So you can only see the blue data set on it, the green data set on it. But the red data set is not in this environment because it is already, this one is in longitude and latitude. And if you check the status of the, the status bar, you see the coordinate of this point. And when you are here, you also see the coordinate of this point. This one is in UTM, and because this data is already projected to UTM, you can see it in this environment. But this data has been transformed to uh, longitude and latitude, is now available in longitude and latitude. I implore you to subscribe to my channel so that uh, when new one comes, when new video comes, you can easily have access to the video. Uh, you can comment so that we can you can tell us how we can improve on our lecture series. Thank you for viewing.